Hey everyone, welcome back to 365 Ninja. I've got kind of a fun tip for you today that you'll use probably more in your personal life than your professional life, and that is creating a shared shopping list with OneNote. And thanks to Scott for suggesting this after subscribing to the Ninja newsletter. So I'm going to be using OneNote 2013 and my mobile app, iOS version of OneNote, but you can use a variety of different versions of OneNote for this. The steps might just look a little bit different. So what I've done here is in my desktop version, my 2013 version of OneNote, I've created a shopping notebook and I put sections in the notebook for the different stores that I want to shop at. So here I've got my Costco section, I've added to my list, and you might have noticed actually that my notebook was syncing just then to my OneDrive. So I've added to my list, I've saved it to OneDrive, and I'm ready to share my shopping list with my shopping companion. So I'll go to File, I'll click Share, and I will enter the email addresses of the people I want to share my list with. So do note here that whoever you want to share the list with doesn't need to have an Office 365 subscription. This process is possible even with just the regular free Microsoft account. So once I share it, somebody can access my notebook that I've shared on whatever device they have. So I'm going to access the notebook on my iPhone. So here we see the mobile version of my list. It looks slightly different, but all the items are there. And as I shop, I'll have my phone in my hand and I will cross off or check off, I should say, items as I go. So I've checked off three items on my phone and back on my OneNote 2013 here on my desktop, once I switch back to the notebook from the file tab, I actually see that it's automatically already synced. So if I've shared this with somebody who's out shopping right now and I'm at work, I know that the items I've put on my list are already in the cart or checked out. And if I need to make a stop on the way home, I know what not to get. So hope this tip helped make shopping a little bit easier with the technology we have at our fingertips. And please check back to 365ninja.com for more tips. And be sure to suggest some tips because you might see your tip in a video just like this one. Thanks.